Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 11 on your side. Happening now in Prince George's County, the search for a man accused in a brutal murder in Laurel. The victim was found dismembered in trash bags. ABC7 cameras were there when another suspect in this crime, Santos Mejia Yanes, was taken to jail. Prince George's County police were at this home on infield court much of the night, and that's where Tom Rousey joins us live. So, Tom, do they have any new leads tonight? Well, they're still hunting for this one suspect. They're not sure if he's fled the country, but they definitely think he has fled this area. He and his roommate are accused of killing their other roommate in an apartment back that way. Then trying to try to get away with it, they're accused of cutting up the remains of that roommate and putting them in various places in the complex, including dumpsters like this one. Neighbors have been terrified, but they say they're relieved at least there's been one arrest. After working a long day tonight, crime scene investigators removed a number of bags of evidence from the apartment where sources say the victim was strangled by his two roommates, then cut up with a kitchen knife. Earlier, you could see the detectives moving around the second floor apartment as they collected the evidence. Well, I, didn't hear, I didn't hear anything. Peter Okafor lives right across the hall from where police say the murder happened. I was living right there. I did not know that I was living with criminals. Killers. Police believe it was sometime Saturday that victim Jacinto Perez was killed by his roommates. Tonight, suspect Byron Cruz Vargas is still on the run. The other roommate is behind bars. Prince George's County police say they nabbed Santos Mejia Yanes in Beltsville, not far from the South Laurel apartment complex where the murder happened. Police believe he and Cruz Vargas got into an argument with Perez over money. Then after killing him, tried to cover it up by cutting up his body and putting his remains in four bags, which they got rid of around the complex. Neighbors were horrified. You never know what's going on with these people mind nowadays. I was, I was terrified. Until I heard the news this afternoon, I was relieved, and I thank God for that. And that's the building where police collected evidence tonight. It's also where they say the three men lived. They believe all three were from Guatemala. They suspect they were in the country illegally, but police say they haven't confirmed that as of yet. Live tonight in South Laurel in Prince George's County, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC7 News. Mm, just horrific. Tom, thank you.